Okay, so I asked on TikTok what story time you wanted to hear next, and a lot of you said you wanted to hear the um, story about me breaking up with my ex. <laughs> so, here it is. Um, this is the guy that I dated before I met Johan. I dated this guy back when I was like in my early 20s. Uh, <laughs> um, when I'm in a relationship, when I'm in a relationship, <laughs> um, I don't like having sex right away. Um, sex to me isn't a big thing. Um, it's more important for me to make sure that me and this other person connect well. So um, I don't usually have sex right away. And because of that, I've lost a lot of boyfriends because of that, because a lot of guys are like, oh, well, I need sex, I need sex, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, <laughs> um, what happened with this guy is that We've been only dating for maybe three weeks, not even. We don't really see each other much, like, I don't know, maybe like two, three, maybe four times a week, if it was a good week. So we never really saw each other that much. But, um, but anyways, so, but I like the guy, like he seemed to be nice, like he, we were like clicking or whatever. And, um, but I just didn't feel comfortable yet. To, to have um, sex with him yet. So, um, one day I was talking on the phone with him and he was talking about sex and how he needs sex and how he's a guy and guys, and guys need sex and all this stuff. But oh, I wasn't ready to have sex. So I was like, well, no, I'm not ready to have sex. And he's like, well, you know what? I'm a guy and guys need to have sex. So if you're not gonna have sex with me, is it okay if I go and have sex with other people and still be with you? But I just have sex with other people. And I'm like, did I, um, <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm like, did I just hear this right? Like, did he just say he's gonna go have sex with other women? So, um, but still be my boyfriend? like. I'm like, so he's pretty much asking permission to go cheat. That's pretty much what he's saying. So after he said that, I pretty much lost all trust in him after that because he could easily tell me after that, he was like, um, at, he could easily tell me after that that he's not doing it, but just go and have sex with other people and just not tell me about it. So once he said that, I lost trust um, in him. So I said, um, because you said that, I don't trust you anymore. And for me, Trust is a massive thing in, in a relationship. If I don't fully trust the other person, I can't be with them. So because he broke that trust, um, I just told him that I don't trust him anymore and we can't be together. <laughs> um, because I don't know if you're going to go and be on my back and have sex with other women, I don't, I don't know. Um, because you're so caught up on sex and I'm not, um, this relationship is just not gonna work. So that's how I broke up with my ex. And then I didn't date for the longest time till I was like, and I met Johan when I was, I think 27 or 28. Um, and this guy was, gosh, uh, I think I dated him when I was 22 or 23. Um, I was young, I was in my early 20s. But, um, but yeah, so that's how I broke up with my ex. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know, I have high standards. I. Um, respect my decision on sex. I've always had a, a strong decision on sex, uh, a strong uh, viewpoint, I guess, I don't know what you would call it, but a strong stance on sex. And um, I never really just had sex with anybody. Um, or like after a couple times of meeting someone, I would never have sex with them. Um, I need to make sure that we are compatible, that, um, it's a good person to have sex with. Oh no, sex to me is more is is a bit is means more, I guess, than a lot of people. Um, so uh, that's why I guess I lost a lot of guy uh, boyfriends in the past. Um, but I'm grateful that I did because um, if you're going to be with someone just for sex, in my opinion, it's not worth it. Um, so I'm glad that I'm not with those guys anymore. Um, and. I'm with someone now um, who respects my decisions about sex and respects my body and um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, 
if you're getting pressured into having sex, um, make sure like to realize you don't need to have sex if you don't feel comfortable yet. Make sure to feel comfortable before you have sex and uh, don't rush into things because if you do it too soon, you will regret it and you can't go back and undo that. Yeah. So um, yeah, just make sure you feel comfortable and um, take your time with it. You don't need to rush into things. Um, even if your friends make it seem like you got to rush into things and like they're all having sex and you're not, like don't feel pressured that you have to have sex because everybody else is having sex. Um, have your views and stay strong on your views and, um, and everything will be okay and eventually you will find the right person for you and who will respect your views and respect you and yeah, so, um, and you have a good relationship with that person. So, um, yeah, uh, that's uh, the story about my ex-boyfriend. And um, I hope you all have a fantastic day, um, either morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is, um, where, whatever it is where you are when you're watching this. Um, yeah, uh, okay, see ya.